Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to run a Spring Web application using Timeless. So, let's get started. size auto import so I'm going to add the packaging to war so these are some basic setup if you are bored seeing this it can go to minute 3 or 4 and see how to configure the time lift so let me just add the dependencies Okay, so I need only these three dependencies, one for the WebMDC, one for the Spring Time Lift, and for the Layout uh, Dialect. Now, let's add the Web App folder. And copy the content of the Web INS from somewhere else. These are pretty straightforward, so let's see this is the my web XML so yeah this simple spring servlet uh, we need and we're running it first in the URL and the spring servlet nothing fancy just the component scan so that we can find out the controller and views so let's add those config okay we need only these two classes let's add the controller method and mapping okay mm, that's all I need in the controller let's set up the configuration mark it as a configuration file and make it a web application Enable web MDC. Okay. Now I need to extend one class. Web MDC configurer adapter. Okay. And override one method. And that is configure default servlet handling yeah and enable sorry configure dot enable okay now set up the view resolver okay so these are the view resolver this I'm saying it's going to be an HTML file. Uh, the ending is .html and it's going to be in the root. Uh, what else? So this is the my templating engine. You can use it. it it's not mandatory. Uh, it's for the fixed heading, header and footer. I'll show you in the later videos how to configure that. Okay, next is the view resolver. So this is pretty straightforward. Uh, you have the resolver you put the templating engine over here and the template resolver over in the templating engine and finally you set the views 
what's going to be where. So here I'm saying that my JS files are going to be in the JS folder and templates going to be in the template folder, which I'm not going to show you in this video, but for future reference, let's just say how to put it, where to put it. Okay, next is uh, finally my HTML view, which I haven't created yet, but I have said that it's going to be a home, so let's make that html file home.html file and yeah let's do the hello world and we need to add one more thing in the home.xml which is over here yeah so that is pretty much all let me check uh yeah let's run this Add it to the deploy to the Tomcat server. If you don't know how to do this, see my other videos. So select the War Exploded version uh, for you know hot deploying. I have another video explaining that how. Okay, so yeah, let's run this. Okay, I have another server running, so let's terminate that and try to run this again so yeah that works so this is how to run spring web mbc with time uh, i'll be showing some advanced stuff in uh, future videos so stay tuned thank you for watching this video Hope it helped. Bye-bye.